two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment for my entire life. It's alluring. It's compelling. It's gripping to observe all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories, ideas, rivalries, where they feel encouraged and engaged, where they involve themselves with the stories and become a product of influence. Thirsty for distraction from time unspent, spoiling their minds, yet stimulating them at the same time. It's brilliant, and it's dangerous. I feel as if I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. One follows another, follows another, follows another. It's mesmerizing. It's spellbinding. All these little consumers, all of these lost and bored people, people consuming anything that they're told to consume. So I am the villain because I've made myself one. And you will continue to consume these stories about me year after year after year for as long as I tell the internet that I am the villain. Stories that permeate and linger and infect the minds of the ants. Influence the ants. Brainwash the ants. You are the ants. Today I woke up from a very long dream, and I also woke up having lost 250 pounds off of my body. Yet just yesterday, people were calling me fat and sick and boring and irrelevant. People. People are the most messed up creatures on the entire planet. And yet I've still managed to stay two steps ahead of everyone. The joke's on you. You miss me so much. You miss me so much. I know. It was eight years separate. Or longer. I know. How many years was it? How many years? Tell me. How many years were we separate for? Too many. Yeah. I know. My baby. I had no choice. I had no choice. But Daddy's back. We're, we're back home. Should be do. We're home. Hello. We're back home. Should be do. And I'm back here with all of you. And it was a long eight years, wasn't it? It was a long eight years. And I didn't think that 
it would have gone this long, but it did. And it was like a bad dream that, yeah, it was like a really bad dream that we were waiting for it to be over. And it's over. It was just a dream. It was just a dream, Mr. Noodle, wasn't it? Yeah. It feels like a bad dream. Um, but we woke up. We woke up. <laughs> yeah. We're so excited. We woke up. Yay! We woke up from the bad dream. And, um, I'm back. And Mr. Noodle is back. And here we are. We're back home, should we do? Say good morning, Mr. Noodle. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my studio for the second time. They don't know that we did this yesterday, but I'm actually going to tell them we did this yesterday. We are redoing the video because <laughs> my file got corrupted. I don't know how. And it had like an error mark on it when I was editing it. I'm like, oh my God. But this is the universe telling me I have to eat more. Right? Right, Mr. Noodle? You are so cute. How's it going, Mr. Noodle? Did you miss me? Did you miss all the peasants? Hey, it's been like eight years. Are you going to say hi? I might put little pieces here and there when I'm editing this for you guys to kind of see what we did yesterday, which was black bean noodles. But we're going to do it again for a second time. These are my favorite spicy noodles of all time. If I had to choose one, it would be black bean noodles. Wouldn't it, Mr. Noodle? Um, I love them. They're so good. And these come from a Chinese Korean place and they make them hand pulled and they stretch them out by hand. You can see them in the restaurant going like this. They're super chewy. They're very chewy and very, very long. I actually think they cut them to make it easier for you to slurp them. The spicy black bean noodles. They are. Oh, baby. I love you. I really missed you. I missed you a lot, Mr. Noodle. It was a long dream. As I said, that dream has come to an end. It was just a dream. Thank God. It's all over. We were just dreaming. I just took off the fat suit. Went, yeah, I just took it off. And here I am. And um, I noticed yesterday when I ate it, it had a lot of onion, a lot of, like, vegetables and pork and potato. It was so good. And we're going to do it again. And I'm really excited. And, um, yeah. It's kind of crazy doing this again, but that's life. We just placed the order, so we'll pick it up, and we're going to have some black bean noodles, aren't we, Mr. Noodle? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Noodle. I think Mr. Noodle really likes being in here. What's that, Noodle? <gasps> What's that? Oh, so you get a taste test before I do. This is, like, kind of not fair. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Noodle. Oh, my God. Here, let me give you your mush. What? Well, here. Try some of this. Oh, my God. This is the life. This is the life. Oh my gosh, this looks incredible. <gasps> Mr. Noodle! <laughs> oh, I gotta have... This, this is... This it. This is worth my soul. This is worth everything in my soul. He seems to like it too. <sighs> this is why I live life. I love spicy black bean noodles. And, um, by the way, if you're new to my, well, Mr. Noodle can't taste spice. They don't have the receptors for it. And actually, spicy pepper is really good for their immune system. So, the vet and people, they always recommend to give. So, I'm just kind of mixing this around since I put those toppings on it. But it's incredible. Now, I'm also going to have to put a little bib on because this is about to get real wild. Ooh. You love your mushy peas. Cheers, everybody. To a new era. 
We were all just dreaming. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Mr. Noodle! This is so good. Mmm. It's spicy, it's savory. I'm gonna focus on Newt. Is the camera focused on Mr. Noodle? I want you to like really see here. Put it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put it there. Mr. Noodle. I told you they're very long. These Chinese guys, they, they're like pulling them really far in front of you. You can like watch it. It's all open kitchen type of thing. Um, I think that's part of the appeal. See how long they are? I can't even. I can't even. I, I don't even know what to do with this one. How am I going to eat? I'm just going to like have to really slurp. All right. Cheers. Want to try some? Want to try some? Go ahead, try some. Do you want my tongue stick? Mmm. Mmm. No, you can't eat my sausage. Hmm. Want to go my shoulder? Actually, let me put you back. This is so good. Noodle. You're missing out. Okay. I'm back. And we're just getting started, which is what's really exciting. It feels good to be back. It feels good to be hanging out with you guys. I'm also going to add a little more sesame seed. I don't even know if it needs much more, but it does add a little flavor. And a little more spring onion. And let's go. Alright, let's do this. Mmm. Mmm. It's spicy. <clears throat> It's my favorite noodle. If I ever show up on like one of those quizzes or game shows, what was Nick Kato Avocado's favorite noodle? You'll say black bean noodles, spicy black bean noodles. I do like spicy noodles. I like the spicy chicken one. I like all the spicy instant ramen. 
but the black bean noodles is where my heart is. It's crazy. It also looks really crazy. Like, it looks like tar or something. Oh, yeah. Cool. That was a good, that was a good one. Yeah. Should I be taking smaller bites? I don't know. I don't really care. I'm just hungry. Mm-hmm. I just want to give you a look. It's so good. Ah! This is not enough. It's probably like 3,000 calories or something. Oh. Y'all know me. I can eat a lot. Okay. Here we go. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, that's spicy. That's spicy. See, the raw onions, they add are really good. <laughs> I think it's a Korean thing. Or maybe that's the way the Chinese make, made a spit, because this is a, chi a Chinese <laughs> Korean. Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying not to, like, you know, pass away over here. <laughs> Spice, yeah. This is not enough food. I know the pile was like a, a mountain, but I, I could just, I just can't stop eating this. Okay. I'm, re I'm ready to see the Lord. <laughs> this, is all I need. This, is, this is my like last meal type of thing. It really is. Did, you, did people know that I like spicy noodles? I mean, people knew I like spicy noodles, but the spicy black bean, did people know? I don't know if I ever told like uh, that degree to relay that information. Look at all the vegetables and other stuff
God. There's nothing to say to anyone right now. <laughs> There's nothing to say. This is my favorite thing in the world. Hopefully these chopsticks aren't like too loud. It's like scrape, scrape, scrape. I just gonna say it down. They don't call me the Mukbang King for no reason. I know how to slip. <laughs> I can clearly finish my food. Look at all this sauce. I'm back home. Shoopy doo, I'm home. Hello, I'm back home. Shoopy doo, I'm home. Hello. And this is hot and steamy because we're eating noodles. Uh, excuse me. I'm back home. Shoot, that was my first burp of the entire video, and I am so sorry. I actually said, I don't want to be so ridiculous in this video. It's going to be a little ridiculous because of how messy this is. Alright, that's good. I don't have to get every morsel. I, I ate all the pasta, basically. Mmm. Wow. I'm patting my lips because they're kind of like <clears throat> all spicy. And if I rub them around too much, it might, might hurt. We did it. <sighs> Look how red my lips got. Wow. Um, thanks for watching my Black Bean Noodle mukbang, and I hope you enjoyed your food if you ate with me, which you should have, because that's what mukbang is supposed to be. That's what it was originally for, and that's what I'm trying to bring back to the internet. And I love being a mukbanger. I love food. I like eating food, and I like being here. So, let me know what you think. I guess that's it. <laughs> Bye! Oh, I'll see you on my other channel. I'm going to link it. There's a... There's another video out. Don't miss it. I'm going to link it down below. I'll see you on over there. Bye.